Hello, fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. Now, this week, I want to talk about how I set up a scene. I've had several requests from folks that ask me, how do I set everything up, and what do I do to get my renders? So I thought it would be kind of neat to start from scratch and just build a scene together so you can see how I do this step by step. Now the first thing that I do is I add my character in and then I set up my character. So in this case, my character is going to be my Milica, like I always do. She's my girl, so I'm going to... Uh, select her and I have a categories folder set up in my content library and then I've got a lot of things that I have organized so I'm gonna find my Milica and she's gonna be under characters and she is right here and so the first thing I need to do is I need to load up Milica so she's gonna load up here and then I'm going to have to edit this because she's going to be naked and I have to put clothes on her before you see her. Okay, so I have Milica loaded and I'm just going to set her up now. So what I like to do is get her ready for everything else that I do. So I'm going to add makeup and any other attributes that come with her. So let's give her some lipstick and then she's got a choice of different makeup so let's give her a nice some nice eyeshadow okay so next will be her hair so I'm gonna add her hair in and I've got a ton of hair to choose from so I'm gonna choose some hair now I do say I love the pigtails and ponytails Okay, so I've got her hair loaded. I like that. I'm going to make her a cheerleader. So that looks pretty good for a cheerleader. I need to change her hair color, though, because Milica has black hair. So we're going to give her black hair. Okay, so now I've got my hair in place. And now is when I would add anything else to her, like her golden palace or uh, textures of any kind that I would be interested in adding. I would try and build the entire character first because it's much easier to do it when you don't have any other props. So I think with her the only thing left would be to give her her clothes and we're gonna choose a cheerleader outfit. So I'm just going to do a quick search because I can't remember where I put this, but this is her cheerleader outfit that I'm interested in. So I'm going to give her the cheerleader outfit. Once I have her clothes on, I'm going to choose a pose. Now I have some cheerleader poses, so I'm just going to search cheerleader and I'm going to look for some poses that we can give Milica. Choose her. Let's try something like this. She's a Genesis 8, so I gotta make sure I have a Genesis 8 pose. Poser, okay. So she's posing. Now I'm gonna manipulate the pose. So I rarely like preset poses, so I'll pose her and then I will pose her by hand the way that I like. She needs a smile. She's a cheerleader. She needs to be smiling. All right, that looks good. So now we have her in a pose. Now, this is also when I would simulate D-Force if we need it. So I'm going to run a simulation to simulate her clothes and put them in the right position when she's posed on her knees. Okay, so now she's posed. At least I think she is. That looks really good. I like how the new pose is kind of showing her midriff. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to add some spotlights. So I'm going to set up my lighting 
And the first thing I'm going to do is just add a spotlight along this default camera. And then uh, I'm going to select the light, go down to light area, always make it a rectangle. I'm going to go to photometrics and this is going to be a bright scene. So let's just start right away at a hundred thousand. And then I can come up here and move my spotlight. So we want it a little bit higher than her. And we can test that, but let's set up two more lights. Now to do that, I'm going to keep everything the way I like it by just duplicating it. Now I can select my second spotlight. I'm going to move one to her left and kind of up and to her right, I should say. Then I'm going to go back to my original spotlight, duplicate it again. And then when I go to this light, I'm going to move it to her left. And pose it. Now let's go back to our camera and let's run an eye ray test to see what this looks like. All right, so it's nice and bright. We can see the brightness. She's going to be in a stadium, so that looks pretty good. So now that I have my initial lights set up, now I can add in my background and my props. So this is when I add anything around her that I want. So I'm going to start with the environment and I'm going to add a backdrop by going to browse and I'm just going to hit a nice blue background and then I'm going to add a football stadium. So I'm going to go back to my content library and under my categories tab I have got a tab where I look for my props and under modern I have this football field so I'm gonna add the football field now this football field is a huge prop that's one of the reasons why I'm gonna add it last because I don't want to be trying to simulate her get everything set up with this huge prop in the way now the football stadium is added but it's kind of huge and it's on top of Milica. So I went to my perspective camera instead of my default camera and now I can kind of zoom out. I can go back to my scene. I'm gonna select my football stadium prop and I'm just gonna lower it until Milica is in view. All right, so that stadium loaded a little high. Now I can go back to my default camera and it looks like she is on the 50 yard line. So I'm going to run another NVIDIA iRate test to see what the stadium looks like. Now this football stadium is so huge, the iRate test is going to work the computer, but now you can see it's loading. Doesn't look bad kind of like that. The stadium's empty, which is kind of weird, but we can mess with that. So now I kind of have an initial camera. I'm going to go back to the texture shaded mode and I can add a new camera. So let's add another camera. I'll start it at the same place as the default camera. I'm going to select that and then let's um, Let's get some different poses going. There's the scoreboard. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to set up a camera with the scoreboard. All right, and let's add, just for fun, let's add a third camera. So I'm going to, again, just copy it to where that initial camera was. I can select it. And now I can move this 
third camera into a position that I like. Maybe this will be a close-up. And I think we're going to move her eyes. I think I want her eyes a little bit to the side. It's just cuter that way. Okay, I'm going to go back to my default camera. And this is where I can do some touch-up stuff. I can click back on that football stadium and just double check that she's actually on the grass. I can raise this up just a hair, it looks like. I think right there looks good. All right, now if I want to add any more props or anything, that's where I would do that. More characters. If I wanted more characters, I probably would have added them in with my original character. So I would put all the characters together. But now, everything is set up. So now I can save my work. So I'm going to save this as a scene. I'm just going to call this uh, Milica Cheerleader. And I'm going to save it. And now what's really cool is I have an add-on called Render Queue that I can use to render all of my cameras. And I will have a tutorial coming up really soon that talks about this Man Friday's Render Queue. But for right now, just to show you, I can render all three cameras one after the other so I'm gonna do that let's get this render started when my renders are finished I usually just simply use Microsoft paint I know that's kinda of weird to think of but I do use Microsoft Paint for a lot of post work. Now these pictures don't really need editing too much. So if I need to edit, I'll use GIMP. But just to set up my page, I prefer Paint. So I can move things around. I can resize in Paint. It's actually very handy. Alright, so what's really cool is for the most part, paint will work for most of your needs. So this is essentially how I would set up a scene to render in Daz Studio. I hope this video helped. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer things. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a couple comments. All right, until next time, have a wonderful day.